That burns really well. Yes, you pull the bark, the birch bark. You start the fire with this one. Okay. It's very good. All right. And then twigs yes. also. And then you take from the these trees. You see, that's a spruce tree and that's a pine tree. Yeah. Under the big spruce trees, you have dry twigs. You take these twigs that are not, they, ha they don't have any green needles. Yeah. Good morning, internet! It is uh, quarter past eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Another day of riding. I am just going to check out from the campsite here. Check out. Key drop here. Okay. I have been uh, mispronouncing where I am at the moment in Sweden. <laughs> I've been saying Umea, but the, the A has this little circle on top, and then it has to be pronounced as O, I think. Umea. Something like that. Swedish language, still a bit of a mystery to me. And today is quite a long day. I am riding 420 kilometers and I will be crossing into Swedish Lapland. I'm really quite excited about it. And the town in Lapland where I'm going today is called Jokmok. Jokmok. And well, every day that I'm riding north, it's getting colder and colder. <laughs> So I decided that I'm not gonna go camp anymore. It's just it's just too cold for the sleeping bag that I have with me. And well, so I booked an accommodation for tonight in Jokmok. But first, let's get there. Look at the at the white one. These are the first reindeer I see on this trip. I saw them in uh, Mongolia and in Greenland. Anyway, I'm about halfway now. I covered uh, 200 kilometers, and uh, yeah, it is all forest. And on the video, that probably is really boring because there's not so much variety in landscape, but. I, I really love it. It's just when you ride for days on end through kind of the same landscape, you really get a grasp and an appreciation for the vastness of, of, this, of these landscapes. Similar as in uh, Patagonia, when I was riding on the Argentina side where it was so flat. You know, if you ride for days and days and days through that type of scenery, yeah, you really get a feeling for how fast it is and I think it's special. I really enjoy it, at least. <laughs> anyway, halfway, so about uh, 200 kilometers to go. So I'm already in what is considered uh, Lapland. Lapland? I don't know how you say it in English. In Dutch, it's uh, Lapland. This is a slightly uh, bigger town.
So I arrived in uh, Jokbok. This is a school, I think. Skolem. Cafe restaurant. Oh, that's closed. Oh, here's something, but it's grilled pizza kebab. That's not <laughs> really what I'm looking for. Cute houses. Very big, actually. Opera. Restaurant. Oh, it seems to be busy here. Oh, they have some blankets. That's nice. So I'm having my food. Um, I am actually eating reindeer because it is really typical of this region, of course. And then this is, I think, lingon, lingonberry, lingonberry, lingonberry which is, uh, I think, as far as I know, in season now, which is also typical of this region. So it's quite regional food what I'm eating. Anyway, so I'm sitting here waiting for my food and then I am being recognized by me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask your name yet. No, my name is Karina. Karina. Yeah. So Karina and her husband are following my videos and she saw Ronin on the corner of the street mm. and then she saw me and then, mm. <laughs> and then I invited her over to, uh, to join me. And yeah. we were just talking mm. about your, your family history, yeah. basically. Yeah. and. Uh, yeah, that you also have some Sami heritage, yes. so it's super interesting uh, for me to hear. But so you, so you now know you have Sami heritage. Yeah. Do you celebrate certain Sami traditions or? Uh, not exactly that, mm. but I'm trying to take it back to know more about my heritage and, and to see what I have missed. Yeah. Because it's uh, somewhere in your heart you feel that you have missed something. Yeah. And it feels, uh, it doesn't feel so good that you didn't know. Yeah. And I ha didn't have the opportunity to ask my mother or find out. Yeah. I had an uncle who died a few years ago and my, then I knew, so then my own, one of my uh, aunts were there taking care of the things. And she told, or called me and asked, do you need, want something from here? And I said, no, I don't think so. I have so much furniture, I don't need that. But then I remember, so I called her and said, oh, if you find the Sami weaving band from the shoes, I would like to have them, if you find them. Oh, she said, but we have, that we have thrown away and we have um, put it in the fire. And yeah. I said, oh my God, did you do that? Oh, but it was nothing to do with that. But then when she left, she came here by car and she said, oh Karina, I have something for you. And she went out and she had found a small weave band that I got. Yeah. It was really something that because I knew they were, they had been using that a yeah. long time ago then. Yeah. So when did you find out again? How many years ago? Uh, can it be 15 years ago? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's only short. Yeah, short, it's time, short really. time. Yeah. 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 Mm. Do you know? Are there more people around here that only now realize they have Sami heritage? Yes. Yeah. A and some of them have known since they were kids. Yeah. Uh, it was so funny because me and my husband was on a, on a dance here mm -hmm. with the Sami people. They used to play football in the in the springtime, and I didn't know. And he was saying, told, telling me that. Oh, but you're Sami. And I, no, 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 no. And he said, yes, you are. Don't fool with me. No, I'm not. No, no, no. He no, could no. tell from your yeah. features? Yeah. For uh, the ears, the left and the right ear. Ah, they, they, they keep yeah, them. Yeah. So when you have that, uh, this was my uncle's. And ah. um, people that that's can so do, nice. they can see when the rain they come, they say, oh, that's belong that is my rain. It's mine. Yeah. Ah. So in the spring they mark the cows. Yeah. yeah. And then for life, yeah, yeah. they can they, recognize they that. It, yeah. So ah. if you find a reindeer that has been uh, hit by a car or something, you can cut off the ear to see who, who, the, who does it belong to. Oh. Yeah. And then they have to pay them uh, some compensation? Yeah. Some, the, the, uh, it's not the one that has been hitting the, them. Uh, the, they get money, money back from this. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. 
But this is so interesting. <laughs> yes, it's, it's super. I think it's so, so nice too. to talk to you about yeah, this. Thank you. I have so many questions, and I, I went to the museum, but yeah. that talks more about yeah, more older history, and not yeah. not really how things are now. at the moment, mm -hmm. like now. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. So I have many friends that are born Sami. But they, I, I assume they have their own language as well. Yeah. Can you understand uh, any of it? Nothing. Yeah. No. Nothing at all. Is it also a written language or only spoken? Uh, no, it's written too, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the, I think that the, the, the old Sami people, I don't think they can write. Mm -hmm. It has been something for the, the younger. younger. Yeah. Mm. So we have children in school that also teach us uh, Sami. Yeah, and there is the North Sami language and the Lule Sami language and the South Sami language, so it is different. And, and is this area then South Sami? Uh, no, it is Lule Sami. Oh, Lule Sami. Lule Sami yeah. It's because in the middle. Of the majority live in Sweden and Finland, right? Yeah. But also a little Russia. bit North. Uh, Russia yeah. and Norway also a little bit? Yes. yes. Yeah. But now we say, yeah. This is my husband. Yeah. They saw you on Iceland yesterday, and now you are in Europe. Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Miko. Miko. Yeah. Oh, and what bike are you riding? Gia's Adventure. Ah. Yeah. She tried to ask me, but I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so lovely. It's pretty amazing how how YouTube really can bring us all together, right? Now I'm riding to a place where I am going to meet somebody who's going to take me to my accommodation for tonight. Let me see, I have to ring the bell at one of these houses. This one, I think here, <laughs> seems a bit random. Hi! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi! Are you going out to Bjorns? Yes, I think, yeah, to the panorama yeah, place. Okay, thanks. Now are you ready to go there or you need to stop at the store or something? No, I'm ready, I think. Hi! What's your name? Uh, What's your name? <laughs> My name is. His name is Ewe. Ewe? Yeah. And you? This is Naya. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the car. I'll drive in front of you. Ah, here is the parking place. It's, it's 200 meters more along the road, and then it's a small trail we walk to the lake. But there's no parking spot over there. Ah, okay. Okay, now now I start to remember the trail. I think. Did we come this way? Did we come this way? No, I'm asking you. Did we come this way? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, where, where's your branch? Where's your broken branch? No, wasn't it? <laughs> That's there! Is it down there? Yes, it is. <laughs> but we did come from this way now, I think. Oh. Yes. That burns really well. Yes, you pull the bark, the birch bark. You start the fire with this one. Okay. It's very good. All right. And then twigs yes. also. And then you take from the these trees. You see, that's a spruce tree and that's a pine tree. Yeah. Under the big spruce trees, you have dry twigs. You take these twigs that are not, they, ha they don't have any green needles. Yeah. They are very good to put on top of the kindling. Okay. Yes. And then bigger. And then, yeah, you, you take quite a few of these. Yeah. They're good to start the fire, but not to to use as firewood. Yeah. And then the pine trees. Normally, 
you see the, the dead twigs from the pine trees. Yes. That's the best firewood. Okay. Because they're dry. Okay. And they might be difficult to reach. Yeah. Here. Maybe there's some on the ground. Yeah. And that dead tree over there is very good for. I need an axe. So, <laughs> this is where I am staying tonight. I will give you a tour. It is so incredibly cool. It is full of mosquitoes though. That's the only downside. So I have to open and close the door really, really quickly. And there's already <laughs> a few mosquitoes inside. But here I can make a fire. I can have some tea as well. I now know how to collect the right wood for the fire. And I'll show you inside. <laughs> so this is where I am sleeping tonight. How cool is this? I can look at the stars. How amazing is this? And then all of this is complimentary. <laughs> Got my own uh, goody place here. Look how full it is with all good stuff. And then there is a kitchen here. And a stove. I brought my own groceries, so that's all good. See, this is <laughs> here is the toilet. Amazing, right? This is the, the best place I have ever stayed. So I think I am first going to collect uh, the wood and everything, the small twigs to make a fire for tonight. I think that's going to be really nice. Fire start is done. What did he tell me? Then these twigs? No, wait. These ones. Let's build this fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was definitely right. Oh, wow. Yeah. He was so right. Look how fast it goes. Well, I got a pretty good fire going, look at it. I can, I can hardly believe that I am here. What a place. And to think that today I actually passed the Arctic Circle. Um, so that means that I'm now more northern than I was in Iceland. I'm fascinated by Sami culture and um, yeah, it's just, I, yeah, Lapland, it's a special place. It really is a special place. And uh, I'm super happy to be here. I'm still enjoying my fire. It's a little bit smoky at the moment. <laughs> But it is still going, so I'm just going to enjoy the night here. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I will see you in the next video.